Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We have a new deck, yeah! And it's a Dino True King deck, but weirdly enough, um, Infinitrack's more consistent to get True King of All Calamities out than this deck. But this deck, when it does get it out, gets it out through a very nice method. But as you can see, we've got a very clear Dino engine, which is the more consistent half of the deck. But you do have ways to get out your True King of All Calamities, of course. So... There is a main combo with this deck that I will go over using Miscellaneousaurus and sending him to the graveyard to get Arcosaur. And then with Arcosaur, you try and pop a Babyosaurus or a Petrodon to go into an Oviraptor. And also getting a magic super Conductor Tyranno pill thingy. But with this little combo, you get out an Ultimate Conductor Tyranno and usually have some other dinos on the board ready to flip all your opponent's monsters face down on their go. At a point you don't like them. Our main synchros that we use are Trishler and Baron de Fleur. But yeah, you'll see how it works in the games. And without further ado, let's get on with it. So, the first game here. We are up against B-Tech Lightning McQueen. And I can't remember what they were playing. Oh yeah, it's Red Eyes uh, Black Dragon. Mixed with um, Rockets. So as you can see, they're doing their generic combo here. Going through their cards. Just going through. They've got a pretty decent starting hand because they've knocked Division Dragon as well in hand, which can mess with our kind of plays if we try and target one of their set cards. So, got to work with that. Boot Sector Launch, obviously, their main field spell, as well as going into Red Eyes Back Metal Dragon. We could see right away that they had a very decent start, but. As you will see in a second, they get out something which is very concerning. Even if it does cost them a Regeki, which probably would have helped them a lot down the line. Boral Load Savage Dragon. Now this was something we had to work around. Because Boral Load Savage Dragon is able to basically negate our activations. And he can only do it once per turn. But he does have enough counters to do it twice, at least. So... We had to work around this, as well as Red Eyes Metal Dragon being able to special summon dragons back from the graveyard. So we did need to clear the, the field. We first tried to pop a uh, Dr Dragonic Diagram to see if it would catch them out. Miscellaneousaurus again didn't catch them out, so we went into pro pop Prosperity. And we very fortunately saw Regeki. And it basically told us that we need to get them to hit this Regeki. Because, or not, not hit Regeki even. So we had to negate the effect of Borrowload Savage Dragon before using Regeki. So we go through our generic dinosaur combo here, basically willing to accept whatever happens. Um, sadly, we didn't have a Babyosaurus to pop, so the combo wasn't as long as we would have liked. But we go into our true king, and this really forced their hand. Because we had two fire monsters in hand, ready to go. And if they didn't negate it, we would have been able to banish Boral Load and then just destroy Metal Dragon by battle. However, because they decided to negate it, um, it just meant that we could now use Regeki nice and safely. Which is always a big flex. So now we go into Ultimate Conductor Tyranno and the board is pretty much ours. Because we banished Giant Rex for it, Giant Rex comes back to the board but he can't attack directly sadly. So we just get him down and Miscellaneousaurus to go into Utopia, which then goes into Utopia the Lightning, because Utopia the Lightning is very good for stopping battles and getting a lot more attacks during those battles. Of course, we're only doing half damage this turn because of Pot of Prosperity, but as you can see, we've pretty much just removed their entire board, and at this point, they kind of just give up, I believe. They try to do some combos, but because Ultimate Conductor Tyranno in theory can just pop our card, and flip all their stuff face down. They realised they couldn't really get anywhere with it. Right, on to the next game. I think this was... What was it? Um, I need to stop guessing before I see their cards. I'll, I'll wait till they play one card and then I can tell you. Yeah, this was Dark Lord with a mix of Despier, I believe. But mainly Dark Lord. So, I'd seen a couple of these decks recently... Um, since the start of May and I thought it would be a good one to show showcase a game against because if I've seen it a few times it means that maybe a few more people are playing it now um, 
And as you can see, three monsters, one back row. It's a decent start. But our starting hand is very good, especially because they don't have an Ash Blossom in hand. So we go through, do our combo. Miscellaneousaurus goes to the graveyard. Um, allows us to grab an Archosaur. Pops Babyosaurus in hand. Gives us an Overraptor. Um, Archosaur obviously being ready to be used for some Link Karibo bait later. Uh, Overraptor grabs us another Petrodon. And because they go for Dark Lord Rebellion here, trying to get rid of one of their cards to trade with ours, uh, it kind of backfires because they forgot to read Miscellaneousaurus' effect. As Miscellaneousaurus basically immunizes our cards to um, card effects, or our dinosaurs to card effects. Just for the turn. Yeah, then we resurrect Babyosaurus because I wanted another one to pop. Archosaur goes into Link Karibo, which I believe gets negated. Um, yeah, it did cost him a thousand life points though, so questionable decision. Especially when Link Karibo can pretty much chain off our Archosaur we resurrected with Overraptor. And here we go into our beloved Trishler because we wanted to get rid of something in their hand, something in their graveyard, and something on their field. Having all those three cases of removal was, you know, very chaotic to mess with them. And, I mean, Baron de Fleur was something that if we had another Jirac, we would have gone into. Because it's a nice negate. Sometimes it's a lot easier to do this than True King of All Calamities, but it's just about what you can do at the time, I guess. Uh, then Link Karibo comes back out from Arcasaur, only to get tributed again for Secure Gardener. It now means we can basically have Secure Gardener to give us some extra health, and we could then go on to Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, and ruined their day. As you can see, it's a scary combo. Now finally, we have our last game of the day, and they've also got the very cute little Dragon Boy. I believe this was against a Fright Fur deck. Not entirely Fright Fur, but like a mix of things. So yeah, start with Prot. We start with Prot. Oh my, I can't speak today. You see what we start with, okay? We start with Pot, pot of Prosperity. And <laughs> we go for another Fossil Dig. Because, you know, it means if they have an Ash Blossom, they can only negate one. But there was no sign of an Ash Blossom. So, Miscellaneousaurus into Archosaur, Babyosaurus. You see the combo. It's all coming together. It's nice to have the True King card in hand, even though it's the one that's quite hard for us to summon without having True King of All Calamities on the board. Because um, we don't have that many water cards. I think Trish is one of the few in deck that actually is. And even though it's in the extra deck, and we don't really want to sacrifice it. So yeah, we go for our combo. Get all our magical stuff out. And just have a spooky board ready to try and intimidate the hell out of them. Of course, we do put um, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno in defense mode. Because I remember Lightning Storm's a card. And I'd much rather they just get rid of a few of the weaker ones than everything. Now, I used Ultimate Conductor Tyranno's Quick Effect here because I wanted to pop their card. Because I thought it negated um, certain things. Not its effect itself, but I thought it negated it being like used for fusions or something that specifically would need it. But I was a bit wrong here. Uh, we do a little combo. So one Babyosaurus for another. They use Patchwork, which is a very decent... Um, card to be honest grab some some really good stuff and then they don't actually go into a fright for monster they go into a pre plant monster which just chomps up our ultimate conduct tyranno and banishes it which is a shame really because if it just destroyed it we could have used monster reborn to get it back because ultimate conduct tyranno can only basically be he, he must first be special summoned from the hand but after that it doesn't really matter um but yeah, as you can see, like, he wasn't put in the graveyard. He was banished, which is really annoying. Um, but we do have two of these in deck for a reason, because it means that it's hard for them to banish both of them. And then, because we got our fossil digs, we just get ready to go back through with our combo. And really start to kind of scare them up. Miscellaneousaurus doesn't really spend much time in the graveyard. Usually, he usually gets instantly banished, so... <laughs> Weird to have him actually sit in the graveyard for once. Here we go, back into our combo. There you go. We realise now, good time, banish four dinosaurs, get rid of it, go for Overraptor, get another one to hand. 
pop the card we didn't need, get back something that has more enjoyable or is nicer to get rid of. We go into Trishla and then we go into Baron de Fleur, I believe, through it. Uh, go into Ultimate Conductor Tyranno by banishing Giant Rex, so that comes back to the board. And controversial play here. I uh, I do recall, yeah, I go into Baron de Fleur, but I probably should have just um, used Giant Rex to attack Free to Plant. But either way, we, we, we do well. We got a negate on the board, and that's what matters. Um, See, so yeah, we go for hit, it's on face, and I believe at this point we have shat them up down to 500 life points. Well, we would have actually won, I believe, if we just, you know, <laughs> didn't use Baron de Fleur's effect to pop it. But oh well, uh, it gives them an extra turn of mercy, I suppose. But they didn't really have much that they could do because we negated their patchwork because we didn't want them drawing two cards. Um. And then they go into their edge imp that we just set phase down. So Super Poly is one of the few things they have left to fear us. But we got Pankatrops now. That was ready to destroy one of their monsters and they just gave up there. But yeah, as you can see, it's a deck that makes people surrender a lot. And if you want to make other people surrender, well, the deck list is all yours, mate. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.